Hello, everyone. We are gonna read Mrs. Super Duper Royal Deluxe Picture Day. Chapter One. Missy, this is、M、Melissa Abigail Rose. But everyone calls her Missy. This is Mrs. Cat Pink. Everyone calls him Pink. Missy keeps a journal. It is under a bed, along with one squash bug, a bubble gum wrapper, three dirty socks, and last year's science project. Missy keeps very important note in her journal. What I love: horses, plane, jumping rope, secret spying, glitter cowboy boots, racing cars, bubble bath, pink. What I do not love. Alarm clocks, cleaning my room, ta table manners, saldis, kitty chores, homework. Mornings are especially busy for Missy. Every morning before school, Missus ha Missy has to feed Pink and eat her bre eat breakfast. Come back, Pink, Missy, breakfast. Missy, did you feed Pink? After breakfast, Missy has to get dressed. Missy loves getting dressed, but it takes her forever. Missy does not just get dressed; she get dressed and and jump rope over and over and over again. Me, Miss Mary, man, 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 all dressed in black, black, black. And sil silver bottom 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 all down her back back back. Mrs. Cat Pink like getting dressed too. Now don't be silly, Pink. You know it's time to get dressed. Meow. But not as much as Missy. Chapter two. Super duper royal deluxe. Only three more days. Missy could not wait until Friday. Friday was picture day at school, and Missy was going to dress up super duper royal deluxe. She was going to razzle and dazzle. She was going to shimmer and shine. Missy thought about picture day morning, noon, and night. On Wednesday, Missy thought about it while she was making her bed, eating her dinner. And doing her homework, she even thought about it in the bathtub. On Thursday night, just before falling asleep, Missy thought about it some more. She thought about belt and that glitter tied with strips and shoes that shines. I can't wait until tomorrow. Pink, pink, are you listening? Hats, glitter, glasses, purse, pink belts, bows, tights, ring, heart, ruffles, stars, boot, pad, bling, rainbows. On Friday morning, Missy woke up bright and early. Picture day was finally here. It's Friday! Yippee! Missy went right to work. There was not a second of waste. Don't, don't make a mess, Pink. And purple and pasty, pasty and one hundred one, one hundred one hundred two, one hundred three. Now what to wear? Missy mixed and matched. She bowed and buckled. Today was the day to dress up super duper royal deluxe. Need more ruffles? Hello, world! Beach. Everything. Love it. Super duper. Styling. What does this need? Goggles. Cha cha cha. Think adventure, bling a zing, uptown girl, da, da.
dynamite. And she did. Dizzy Pin's super duper fuzzy head glow in the dark ring. Her buckle dynamite boots play. Never leave home without it. Sparkly bat. Mr. Nibbles. Super duper fuzzy hat. These. Miss Mrs. Mrs. Mother took one look at Mrs. Outfit and said, "Goodness gracious!" Mrs. Mother decided that Missy needed help with her picture day outfit. Here, dear. Today of all days, Missy did not need any help, and Missy did not want any help. No, no way! What? What? No! No! Yuck! Yes, dear, I know it's super duper. No, dear, because I said no, no. I said no, no, no. Now, sweetie pie, no. Yes, I know, dear. No, let's let's not throw things, dear. Miss Masella Abigail Rose. Mrs. Picture Day was completely, totally, absolutely ruined. Chapter three: No ruffles, no rainbows, no ribbons, no sparkles, no nothing. On the way to school, Missy did not want to sit sit with anyone. She sat all by herself and grumbled. Everything was ruined. At school, Missy did not want to talk to anyone, and she did not want anyone to talk to her. And each fingernail is a different color. See, they make a rainbow. Cool. Guess what? My tie sparkle. During social studies, Missy sat next to Oscar. She knew Oscar was not a talker. Oscar was a thinker. What are you doing? Why do you have a map? I'm not talking to anyone today. But if I were to talk, I would say I am not. I am having a very bad day, a super duper bad day. Do you want it? Want to know why? I. I'll tell you why. Because this outfit has no ruffles, no rainbows, no ribbons, no sparkles, no nothing. Oscar, look at Missy. Missy was right. Her outfit has no ruffles, no rainbows, no ribbons, and no sparkles. <laughs> But then Oscar saw something else. She saw he saw something better than ruffles, rainbows, ribbons, and sparkles. Super duper suspenders. suspenders. Oscar, are you listening? Miss Mrs. Teacher Miss Snowgrass was making her rounds. Oscar, Missy, back to work, you two. Late later that morning, Missy still not fit not. Feel did not feel like talking to anyone. She did not feel like talking to anyone. That is, except Oscar. I like your tie. Did you pick out your vest? I like your outfit. Do you like your outfit? Do you like plate? Play in my best color. Play is not a color. Play is a pattern. How the West was won. During mass, Missy was in no mood to listen to Miss Snowgrass. She she looked around the room and sighed. Everywhere. She looked. She saw ruffles, rainbows, ribbon, and sparkles. At lunch, Missy sat next to Oscar again. I 
I am not talking, but if I were, I would say that I would share my carrot with you. If you shared our cho- your chocolate pudding with me, how about it, Oscar? Nope. But these are not just any carrot. These are baby carrots. They are great for dipping in chocolate pudding. Wouldn't you like to share just a little of your chocolate pudding with me? No. Friend is supposed to share, Oscar, and you're n- you're must my, my friend, aren't you? What? I am a bad. I am having a bad day, right? I so I so. So now would be a really good time to share, right? I guess so. Don't you have something to share to make me my day just just a teensy weensy bit better? Uh, let me think. Oscar had to think fast. My fancy new pen that write writes in four colors. Nope. My rubber band collections. Nope. My tape measure. Nope. My rocks book. Nope. Share my pudding? Is she crazy? My my magnifying glass? Nope. Well, Oscar, are you going to share with me or not, or what? But then the bell rang. It was time, picture picture time. Chapter four. Say cheese, please. Now I know you all very excited about picture day, but we have rules and blah blah blah. Miss Snowgrass called for called for room nine hundred sixty sixteen to line up. She told everyone to smile and say cheese when they got their pictures taken. Miss Snowgrass went on to remind everyone how to be- behave like young ladies and gentlemen. Don't run, climb, jump, jog, sh- shimmy, shake, twirl, wiggle, wag, clap, slap, rap, nap, hop, or skip. Don't yell, or holler, growl, or burp. Don't crowd. Don't pinch. Don't blah blah blah. Huh? Today is picture day. How could anyone forget about picture day? The student or went to take their places in line. And my grandma wants a picture. It's called. A cowlick, cool. I wish I had one. My favorite cheese is Swiss. I don't know. Why do they tell you to say cheese? Crystals the bunny ears. I know how to do it. Where are we going? To the zoo. Will we still get recess? Tra la la la, huh? Oh, great! This is just great. And the shadow led in the light to ex- expose the film. Wow! I'm next. How does my hair look? Great. Missy did not want to line up. Or say cheese and smiling. Forgot it. Forget it. Smiling was the last thing she wanted to do. Today was turning out to be Missy's worst picture day ever, and it was about to get worse. First, my picture day outfit is ruined. Then my day is super duper bad. And then after that, you won't share your chocolate pudding. And now, and now, I have to wait in line next to someone who does doesn't know anything about paint or pudding or friend or sharing. 
What? Missy, Oscar, now. Miss Nowhere's pulled Missy and Oscar out of line. Listen up, you two. Now I realize you, but both are very excited about your school pictures. How, however. However, you still need to behave. Remember, no yelling, shouting, holy, holy, blah blah blah. Chapter five. Oscar the thinker. So what? Who cares? Miss Nogres sat Missy and Oscar down on a big bench. She told them to wait. They will have to wait until everyone else has finished getting their pictures taken. Then it will be their turn. So Missy and Oscar said, "They they watched as one by one, their classmates got their pictures taken. We didn't even want to be in that boring old line anyway, didn't we? Did we, Oscar?" They waited and waited and waited. Who cares about sticky old picture day, right, Oscar? Oscar, Oscar, don't you have anything to say? Well, yes, I do. First of all, but baby carrots are not good with chocolate pudding. Second, for your information, I know a lot of being, a lot about being friends. And third, I do have something to share. Psst, psst. When we pss pss pay pss pss until later when we miss when we snow grass. Yippee! That's a great idea. How did you even get that great idea, Oscar? Yikes! <laughs> Oscar was beginning to wonder if this was such a great great idea. Chapter six. Picture for perfect. The rest of the student has had. All filled past Missy and Oscar's turn. They had all paused for the camera, smiled, and said, "Say cheese!" It was finally pictures time for Missy and Oscar. Missy, Oscar, your turn. Say cheese. Missy and Oscar were ready. In fact, they were so ready. They were already smiling. Say cheese. Say cheese. That that Oscar, he didn't know about paint and friend and cheering after all. Thanks, Oscar. You're a real thinker. And if there was one thing Melissa Abigail Rose really didn't know about. It was dressing up. Super duper royal deluxe. The end. Susan Nees. Thank you for reading this story. Bye, guys.